Welcome back to Gator Music TV. Here to give you guys my speculations and guesses on what will happen at WWDC when iOS 5 and macOS 10 is announced. So let's get into it. All right, as we all know, WWDC was announced. It's going to be in June, as it always is. Um, there's been a lot of speculation of people saying that there will be no hardware, meaning there, there will be no iPhone 5 this year in June. People are saying it's going to be in September. Do I believe that? Yes and no. If it did come out in September, I wouldn't be mad. I'd just wait. Um, so, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think on that one? But, uh, iOS 5. I'm thinking iOS 5 is going to be, this is going to be the one that crushes Google, Samsung, every, all the phone makers. iOS 5 is going to define the power of the iPhone. I think we're going to get a lot of those things that people are jailbreaking their phones to get. I think it's going to be a part of iOS 5. There's nothing left. I mean, when you really look at the iPhone 4, it's an amazing phone. Everyone always says, how can you make it any better? I agree. And I think that there's nothing left to do but for Apple to steal from jailbreakers and all those things that they wouldn't let us do. It's about time for them to step their game up and really start um, showing off, basically. Show off and destroy. I think that's this is what all iOS 5 is all about. Showing off and destroying competitors. So, um, here I found a nice mock-up of what the iPhone 5 is expected to be like because they're saying it's supposed to have the steel backing on it like the original iPhone did. I think it looks nice with either the glass or the steel backing. I think it looks nice. Um, I actually have a skin on my iPhone 4, so I can't see the glass anyway. But... If they went back to it, I wouldn't mind. It's still a, a very nice design, regardless of what people say about the um, that that uh, grip of death or whatever that's blocking the signal. Yeah, it, it happens. I may I may drop one bar, but other than that, you know, I really can't complain too much about AT and T or the um, the iPhone because I wouldn't trade either one of them. You know, I haven't switched over to Verizon. I'm still an AT and T customer. And I'm going to always be an Apple customer. But um, let me know what you guys think about the this mock-up for the iPhone 5. I think it looks good. Now, one thing um, about the mock-ups, I found this one mock-up that I would love for the iPhone 5 to look like this. That I think that's an incredible design. Whoever made this up, I give them mad props for that. The phone is hot. I think it would turn anybody on to getting it. Is real sleek, you know. I think the phone actually, actually makes that um, that interface pop. A lot of people say they're getting tired with the UI from the iPhone, you know. But I think that this design looks good. I would love for the iPhone 5 to look like that. But you know, Apple, it's, it won't. One thing that's they're saying is supposed to come with iOS 5 is Mobile Me. It's supposed to be free. They're saying right now you can't extend your contract on the mobile me. You can only get the 30-day uh, trial. So um, I'm wondering to see how Apple plans to integrate that uh, huge data center that they built in North Carolina into a free mobile me. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like what Amazon is doing. Amazon gives away 5 gigs free um, at, at, at sign up. Once you buy a CD... It automatically saves on there, and it doesn't affect your 5 gigs, and it also will give you an additional 20 gigs. And I believe that the pricing for it goes $1 per gig. So um, I'm looking to see what Apple's going to do with that. I think it's going to be a good idea. I'm hoping that they don't have any issues with the record labels and the uh, filmmakers about licensing for this. I hope they just say screw them and just do it. You know, that, I think that would be the best way to go around it. Um, another thing, Apple bought Siri a while ago, and they haven't done anything with it. Siri is an awesome app. I've used Siri 
last summer when I was looking for an air conditioner, I um, it has voice recogni voice recognition. All I basically did was say air conditioner, and it, it gave me a listing of all the stores in the area that were selling air conditioners. Siri is the truth. I love Siri. I, I always use it. It's, it's a real hot app. So I'm I'm wondering how Apple's going to integrate the voice um, voice recognition and voice commandments into iOS 5. I'm thinking that we're going to see a lot of that. I think they're really that's something they're really going to push. Um, seeing as how they don't really care for buttons too much, and you know it'll be nice for them to for you to be able to just speak your um, your commands to your phone and have it done. So hoping Apple does something with Siri this year. Another thing. NFC, Near Field Communication. There, there's been a lot of talk about them integrating this into the iPhone, whether it's real or whether it's just something that Apple plans to do in the future. I don't really care for it. If they do it, maybe I'll use it um, for that one rare occasion when I leave my wallet in the car and there's a huge line. Maybe I'll swipe my phone. But I'm not going to be sitting there swiping my phone across that thing every time. I mean, once people find out that it's capable of that, who knows how they're going to be able to hack that or are people going to be looking to steal your phone to swipe it? I'm sure that there's going to be some sort of security feature on there. Maybe you'll have to type in your iTunes password to actually accept the purchase that you're doing. If they do that, that's great. But I could care less if they put it in or if they don't. So let me know what you guys think iPhone 5, they're saying it's supposed to have an 8 megapixel camera. How hot would that be? iPhone 4 already has damn near the best camera in a mobile phone. I don't have no complaints from this camera. I mean, it shoots good in day, dark, it's sharp. You get the HD quality. I mean, not to mention already having that retina display. You pretty, you probably could have a crap camera on there and still get pretty good video. Well, just like the uh, iPod Touch does, it shoots excellent video. You know, um, eight megapixel, and it's supposed to be from Sony. So we'll see how that goes. All right, you guys, that's basically my speculations on iPhone five, iOS five. Um, not really going to touch too much on. Mac OS 10. I'm not a huge Mac user. I will be soon. I'm just not right now. So let me know what you guys think. Um, is there anything that I missed? Is there anything that you think is going to happen? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Rate. Do all of those things. Always stay an Apple fan. I'll never cross over to Google and all of those posers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.